In this game development quick tip video, we'll show you how to bring your 2D scene to life with real time lighting and post processing effects. With our scene open, the first thing that we want to do is we want to go to Windows, we want to go to our package manager, and we want to make sure that we have our post processing package installed. If not, we can just hit install and we can add that into our project. With our post processing package installed, the first thing we want to do is we want to create a new material. And in our material, we want to change our material shader to our sprite and we want to go to diffuse. Next, we're going to select our sprites and we're going to add our diffuse material to our sprites. So now that we have our diffuse sprite material set up, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to our windows and we're going to bring up our lighting tab. And in our lighting tab, we're going to go to our, our sky materials and we're going to use an HDR material for our sky box. The one you see on screen is one of the 12 that we have available in our fighting game collection pack. And under our source, we're going to change that to sky box. And we can instantly see that we now have the lighting from our HDRI sky box material. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add a light into our scene. And we can see instantly that our sprites are getting our lighting information from the light that we've now placed in our scene. So we're going to adjust our light a bit and then we're going to also adjust our color as well. We can see if we adjust our tint that our material is now now getting the color from our tint. So we're just going to change that to just a slightly blue. And the next thing we want to do is we're going to get our ship that we have in our foreground. And we're going to add a light to that and we're going to add a point light. And next we're going to go into our main camera and we're going to add a post processing layer. And for our layer, at the moment we're just going to set this to UI and we're going to make sure that we set our camera layer to UI as well. And then we're going to add a component and we're going to add a post processing volume component to our camera and we're going to set that as global. And we're going to create a new post processing profile as well. First effect we're going to add is we're going to add a vignette. And next we're going to add a bloom. And next we're going to add our color grading and with the color grading we're going to go to mode and we're going to say low definition range and after hitting mode and going to a low definition range if we go to color lookup texture we can use one of our color lookup tabs to set the color of our scene so in our fighting collection pack we included over 90 color lookup tabs that all have different looks that they can give to a scene these have a fairly dramatic effect on the feel of our scene so we can go through these and try it out and see what gives us the best look and feel we want to have for our scene and we can customize this even further by going and adjusting our settings in our color gain And we can also add a little bit of a depth of field, which will kind of give the illusion that the neon lights are kind of giving a, a bit of distortion to our view. 
and next we're going to add an auto exposure effect and we're going to expose the compression to really give the feel that those neon lights are really lighting up the sky you can also add a bit of chromatic aberration and we'll use this just to give a little bit of distortion to the edges of our screen. We can now see through our lighting and through our post-processing effects, we're really able to make very different look and feel to our scene and add very different life to it. Kind of make that come to life and just appear more than just a flat illustration. And using our color lookup tabs, you can see we can easily just change the look and feel of our scene, essentially by using a different color lookup texture. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to be the first to see this and many other tutorials, game development tips, interviews, and free game asset giveaways.